Hello everyone. Welcome to our channel, Scoov. So, who are we? We are a couple of learning enthusiasts and this is our very first video in the series of many to come. Our intention is simple, to make every topic logical and simple for students. We are starting with class 6 mathematics. Alright, here we go. Hi students, welcome. In the chapter Knowing Our Numbers, we will study five topics. Introduction to Natural Numbers, Units and their Conversion, Estimation, Brackets and Roman Numerals. In this video, we will talk about the first topic, Introduction to Natural Numbers. The subtopics are Numbers and Natural Numbers, Digits of a Number, Place Value and Face Value of a Digit, Numeration, Comparison of Numbers, Ascending and Descending Order, Formation of Numbers, Smallest and Greatest Numbers. Let's begin. What are numbers actually? We need something to answer the question, how many? And when we answer the question, how many, we are doing something which is called counting. For example, if I ask, how many teams are playing in a cricket tournament? The answer can be seven teams. The answer cannot be too many teams or apple teams or book teams. It has to be a number. So numbers are something that we need to count. Hence, they are called counting numbers or simply numbers. These counting numbers are also called natural numbers. 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on are natural numbers. They just come naturally to us, so don't worry about the name. There are other kinds of numbers too, which we will study in higher classes. 0 is not a natural number because counting does not start from 0. It starts from 1 because counting from 1 comes naturally to us. Let's count the balls in a box. 1, 2, 3. This box has 3 balls. We don't start from 0 and say this box has 0, 1, 2. That is 2 balls. So what are digits of a number? Let us take the number 1729. So 1729 is made up of which numbers? It is made up of 1, 2, 7 and 9. These numbers are called digits of the number 1729. So 1729 has 4 digits and hence it is a 4 digit number. So digits of a number are the numbers from 0 to 9 which are used to make that number. Individual digits are also numbers. So 1 is a number, 2, 7, 9 are all numbers. What are digits of the number 1? Number 1 has 1 digit and that digit is 1. Similarly, number 7 has 1 digit and that digit is 7. Similarly for 2 and 9. In fact, all numbers can be made by numbers 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9. Isn't that fascinating? Let's try and make a number using numbers 10, 11 and 15. For example, let's make a number 101115. Well, we can see that this number is made up of three numbers or digits, 0, 1 and 5. So we need these 10 numbers only to make any number. Now let us try and understand place value and face value. Remember, place and face values belong to a digit of a number. Every digit has a place value and a face value. So let us take the number 1729. Face value is nothing but the digit itself. Face value of 1 is 1, 7 is 7, 2 is 2 and 9 is 9. What about place value? As the name suggests, place value is the value of the digit according to its place in the number. So which place does 7 occupy? If we start from left, it is at second place. And if we start from right, it is at third place. As a rule, we always start from right. And starting from right to left, first place is called ones, second place is called tens, third is hundreds, fourth place is thousands. As we keep moving towards left, we will have more and more such places. But why are they called ones, tens, hundreds, etc.? Answer is simple. Remove the digit and place 1 there. Then put as many zeros as you can till the rightmost digit. So remove 9, place 1. You cannot put any zero because 9 itself is the rightmost digit. Now remove 2, place 1 and you can put one zero. 
Similarly, repeat it for 7 and 9. So place of the digit 9 is 1s, 2 is 10s, 7 is 100s and 1 is 1000s. So now, what is place value? Multiply the digit with its place. So place value of 7 is equal to 7 into place of 7. That is 7 into 100 which is equal to 700. Similarly, we can write place values of other digits. Next, we move on to numeration. When we write a number as a number, it is called a numeral. However, writing a number in words is called numeration. There are two kinds of numeration, Indian system of numeration and international system of numeration. Let us take a number which has 10 digits, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 0. We know that 0 is at 1's place, 9 is at 10's, 8 at 100's and 7 at 1000's. But there are 6 more digits. In Indian system, after 1000 comes 10,000, after that lakh, then 10 lakh, crore, 10 crore, 100 crore. International system is the same as Indian system till 10,000, then comes 100,000, then million, 10 million, 100 million, then billion, 10 billion and so on. Difference between the two systems is that in Indian system there is a different name after every two digits and in international there is a different name after every three digits. You can see that 10 lakh is equal to 1 million. So in Indian system we write this number as 123 crore 45 lakh 67,890. In international system, we write this number as 1,234,567,890. Why do we not write 100 crore, 20 crore, 3 crore or 40 lakh, 5 lakh? Instead, we write 123 crore and 45 lakh. Actually, it is easier that we add the numbers of same type. Add crore to crore, lakh to lakh, thousand to thousand and so on. Similarly, we have added million to million. It is very difficult to read this number. It will be easy if we can differentiate thousand, lakh and crore. We can do that by putting commas in the number. In Indian system, starting from right, put first comma after one, two, three, three digits and then put a comma after every two digits. So four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Putting a comma after every two digits simply means putting a comma after every type, thousand, lakh, crore, etc. In international system, start from right and put commas after every three digit. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine which again means putting a comma after every type. So in Indian system, start from right and put first comma after three digits and then put a comma after every two digits. In international system, start from right and put commas after every three digits. Remember that one million is equal to 10 lakh. Next is comparison of numbers. In comparison of numbers, we simply find out which number is greater and which is smaller. But first, let's understand how to identify if one number is greater than the other number. If we can subtract a number from another number, then the second number is greater. For example, we can subtract 5 from 6, so 6 is greater. But we do not need to subtract every time. So how to find out? First, understand that from 0 to 9, 0 is the smallest and 9 is the greatest. The numbers increase in the order 0 to 9. Now let us compare two numbers. When number of digits is different, for example 172 and 1729, 1729 has 4 digits and 172 has 3 digits. The number with more digits is greater. So 1729 is greater. That is, 1729 is greater than 172. When number of digits is same, for example, 1728 and 1729, both have four digits. So now what? Let us start looking at digits from left, the highest place, 1000. At this place, both numbers have same digit, 1. 
So we move to next highest place, 100. Again, digit is same, 7. Next is tens, same, 2. Next is ones, 9 is greater than 8. Therefore, 1729 is greater than 1728. This is the symbol for greater than. We can also write 1728 is smaller than 1729. This is the symbol for smaller than. The symbol gets bigger towards the opening and hence opening faces the greater number. So, first look if the number of digits is different. If it is different, more the digits, greater the number. If it is same, look at the highest place. Number with greater digit at the highest place is greater. We can use this knowledge to put things in an order. Let us take four numbers. 17, 1728, 1, 1729. Clearly, 1 is the smallest number. Then comes 17, then 1728, and the greatest is 1729. If we write these numbers like this, we say that we have written numbers in an ascending order. If we write them in the reverse order, 1729, 1728, 17, 1, it is called descending order. Ascending means going up or increasing and descending means going down or decreasing. So, in ascending order, first write the smallest number then a number greater than this, then a number greater than this, and so on. After completing, check whether each number is greater than the previous one. In descending order, first write the greatest number, then a number smaller than this, then a number smaller than this, and so on. After completing, check whether each number is smaller than the previous one. So how do we form numbers? Let us take a question to understand this. Write all possible one digit and two digit numbers that can be formed using the digits 1 and 7. If we use 1 and 7 only once, we can make four numbers 1, 7, 17 and 71. If we repeat 1 and 7, we can make six numbers apart from 1, 7, 17, 71. We can also make 11 and 77. So this is pretty straightforward. Next, we try to write the smallest and greatest natural numbers. Since natural numbers are counting numbers and counting starts from 1, the smallest natural number is 1. We can keep on increasing the number of digits in a number and it will never end. Hence, there is no greatest natural number. However, we can still find the smallest and the greatest natural numbers with given digits. Let's do that. So the smallest one digit natural number is 1. The greatest one digit natural number is 9. After 9 comes 10, which is the smallest two digit number. The greatest two digit number is 99. Moving on, the smallest three digit number is 100 and the greatest three digit number is 999. All natural numbers are formed using 0 to 9, where 9 is the greatest and 0 is the smallest. So, use 0 to form the smallest numbers and 9 to form the greatest numbers. Simple. Remember to use 1 before zeros because 0, when used alone, is not a natural number. So, continuing with this pattern, we can write the smallest and the greatest numbers using more digits. You can see that 9 plus 1 is equal to 10, 99 plus 1 is equal to 100, 999 plus 1 is equal to 1000, and so on. This means that the smallest number of a digit is equal to greatest number of previous digit plus 1. Let us take an example. Write the greatest and the smallest 4-digit number using the digits 1, 7, 2, 9 without repeating any digit. Since we have to write a 4-digit number, there are 4 places. Rule is simple. For the greatest number, put the greatest digit at the highest place. That is, the first place from left and write the digits in descending order. So put 9 at the highest place, then 7, then 2, then 1. So the greatest number is 9721. 
For the smallest number, put the smallest digit at the highest place and write the digits in ascending order. So put 1 at the highest place, then 2, 7 and 9. So the smallest number is 1279. This was all about the first topic. Do give us a chance to improve by providing your feedback in the comments. Please do like and subscribe. We will be coming up with the next topic shortly. Till then, goodbye.